Taxigothy here. I'm going to start off by saying that in the trials, I, one, don't use meta builds. I use whatever builds I come up with, and I change it accordingly. So there's no particular build used in this video. I keep changing it to see what will work the best. As you can see in my very first attempt, it actually goes pretty well, but it's okay. It's all downhill from there. Um, Feel free to criticize the times that I'm getting. Like I said, I am by no means an expert and I don't use meta. This is solely for fun. I really do like the trials and it's a great skill test. And really, you just gotta fail a few times, as you'll see here soon. And that's how you learn. It teaches you the behemoth's movesets, like this one is an insta-kill and it sucks. <laughs> and Regardless, you may lose a lot, it might take 20 minutes, but the trials are a great way to learn each behemoth's moveset, the timing that you'll need, what you can put together to more efficiently run a hunt, not just trials. And, you know, apparently kill them and die at the same time because that's effective. Trials are the ultimate test of skill. It's a lot of fun to go into a trial, have different modifiers on it, and a behemoth you might normally be able to handle you might have some modifiers that really do suck. Like honestly, any behemoth that has flame tail is my worst nightmare. I will say this trial was a lot of fun. I really enjoyed fighting Malcarion, and everyone I talked to telling them, yeah, next week's trial's Malcarion. They were panicking. Don't panic. It sounds more intimidating than it is. He is one of the easiest behemoths to interrupt, for one. If, say, you're like me and you love Tempest and you run Tempest, every dodge is going to give you Tempest, and he tries to eat you a lot, and that counts as a dodge for Tempest. But, mind you, like in the beginning, if you do get captured, it is an insta-kill. I've tried it with different builds. Doesn't matter if I have full health and shields, it will kill me every time. But, trials are great for strategy, and I highly recommend to anyone wanting to try them, try them. And don't listen to people that say, oh, you got to run meta. You know, those that are in the top five, top ten even, yeah, they're running meta builds, but they're also playing flawlessly. And you have to keep in mind that a lot of these people that are the top, the best of the best, they have run the trial, I'm not exaggerating, hundreds thousands of times before they get those insane times that are on the board. So when you look on the board and you see anything under a minute, even just under 30 seconds, it's not something that just happened first try. It takes a lot of practice and even if you do run the meta builds that the top people are running, you have to play absolutely flawlessly if you are going to get those times. So just keep that in mind. In my honest opinion, run the trials your way. Try different builds, try different combinations. It is the best way to get better at the game. And this build I'm running right now, the repeater build, it wasn't the most effective for fighting Malcarion, but it is the same build that I used against Bloodshot Shroud. I was never willing to go fight Bloodshot Shroud on Twilight Sanctuary or the Blazeworks until I beat him in trials and what it took was running the trial time after time after time again and after a while you start getting very familiar with their move sets and they become less of a burden to fight like Thunder Deep Dress was the very first trial I managed to get on a weapon leaderboard with and his hitboxes are awful but it made them a little bit easier to manage and predict. Now, 
Charog side swipe if you're on the other side of him when he goes to side swipe it still hits you. That that's bull. That needs to be fixed. Regardless. We're talking about Malcarion. Malcarion to me wasn't really hard. But in trials he definitely was a bit of a new challenge. And I guess since I brought it up on Bloodshot Shroud, when I go into Blazeworks now, I willingly go after Bloodshot Shroud if I'm running my repeater build. But I wouldn't do that in the past. So, my advice, run the trials. Any trials. And particularly this week's trial. I know I'm late uploading this, but run this week's trial. Don't be afraid of Mount Carrion. He's not that bad. He just seems intimidating. But when you try him out, even if you just try the normal version of the trial, You'll see he's really not that bad, and actually a lot of fun. This is the most fun trial that I've done, honestly. I'm struggling to get on the board, but I'm gonna keep trying. Probably not gonna report it unless I get something really good. But I at least wanted to show you guys some of my efforts, some of my fails, and let you guys know that it's honestly a lot of fun for them tries. They shouldn't intimidate you. You shouldn't be afraid. Just give them a shot. My main reasoning for running trials each week is to get the gilded marks and unlock the rest of the stuff in the store. I also want to get the remaining titles just for completionist reasons. That's how I've always been on every game. Link's Time Sweeper, Spyro may not be very familiar titles to you guys but nonetheless I have trials champion and I have some of the weapon titles but I don't have chain blades champion warpike champion or sword champion so those are what I'm working towards just to have them I want to get everything in the game I've been playing this game for so long now that there's really not a whole lot left to do I have 13 weapons left to power surge and then everything in the game will be power surge. But I mainly just want to do all this stuff to complete the game in full and it'll make it easier for making builds for anyone that may need it and I don't happen to have something power surge. I don't know. Anyway, excuse my rambling. I hope that you enjoy this video. I hope that this helps give you guys confidence to run the trials if it's something that you weren't sure about doing in the past. It is a lot of fun and it's a great skill test and it will make you better at each behemoth. Just run it each week. And who knows, maybe, if you're not even, even if you're not even trying, you might even make it on the board.